Hello everybody and welcome to another beautiful day to learn about PVF where you can get your PVF degree for free right here at Industrial Valco University. All right, today, speaking of beautiful, we're going to talk about what I believe personally to be the most beautiful of all the valves in the PVF industry. It's the butterfly valve. The butterfly name comes from the fact that the disc or wings moves around a central axis which acts like the body of a butterfly. The butterfly valve, like the ball valve or the plug valve, are part of what we call the quarter turn family. This means to open or close the butterfly valve, you only need to turn it one quarter of a full revolution. The butterfly valve is designed to do three things. To start the flow, to throttle the flow, and to stop the flow. Butterfly valves have a short circular body and a round disc with either metal to metal or a soft seat. Similar to the trunnion ball valve, the disc is an anchored stem, so the disc pivots as it is operated. The valve may also be opened incrementally to throttle flow. Unlike a ball valve, the disc is in the flow path and the pressure drop is a lot greater. The construction of the butterfly valve has two main types. Number one, like you see here, is the lug. And the second type, as I got right here, is the wafer. If we can do the overhead, you can see the difference. A commonly used design is the wafer type that fits between two flanges. Another type, the lug wafer design, is held in place between two flanges by bolts that join the two flanges and pass through holes in the valve's outer casing. Again, wafer body and lug body with the bolt holes right here. Okay, so your average concentric butterfly valve, as you see right here, has three parts. Number one, a cast iron body. Number two, a resilient rubber seat. And number three, a stainless steel disc. The stem is centered and the disc rotates concentric to the bore. The seal on the seat relies on the elastic deformation of the resilient seat as it closes. As mentioned earlier, the disc will usually be a stainless steel. However, it can be a bronze if you want to save money or if you have a saltwater application. All right, let's take a look at this butterfly valve, which is a cutaway, and give you an inside look at the valve. As you see in this close-up, the valve has a body, the seat, along with the disc and the stem. The butterfly valve has become popular as a substitute for gate and globe valves because of how lightweight it is and the cost. All right, before we go over more advantages and disadvantages of the butterfly valve, let's first do my favorite part of every episode. Did you know? Industrial Valco University presents, Did You Know? Did you know that butterflies actually taste with their feet? Butterflies have taste receptors on their feet to help them find their host plants and locate food. A female butterfly, in fact, lands on different plants, drumming the leaves with her feet until the plant releases its juices. Juices? Anyways, well, now that we've gone over the fun fact, let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of this valve. The advantages of the butterfly valve? One, compact design requires considerably less space compared to other valves. They're light in weight. Quick operation requires less time to open and close. Wide range of sizes. Low pressure drop compared to a globe. The disadvantages of a butterfly valve? Throttling service is limited to low differential pressure. Cavitation and choke flow are two potential concerns. Disc movement is affected by flow turbulence. The disc sealing surface is in the flow path. Most valves are unidirectional and will have a flow arrow. All right, well, you're all caught up on the pros and cons of the butterfly valve, so we have time to look at the high performance butterfly valve or what we also call the double offset design. The center of rotation is moved from the center line of the valve body. The seat and seal design is conical or like the shape of a cone and on center. This design relies on elastic deformation seat to seal allowing a larger range of seat materials that can be used. The deformation is minimized by the double offset. As the disc opens it immediately moves away from the seat instead of across the seat. This design has added capability of using line pressure to assist in the seal. In fact, guys, there's actually a triple offset design. 
but we'll talk about that in a later class. All right, let's do a review on the butterfly valve. The butterfly valve is a quarter turn valve that is designed to stop, throttle, and start flow. It has a short circular body around a disc with either metal to metal or saw seats, which makes it lightweight and very cost effective. The two designs are a wafer type that fits between two flanges and lug wafer design, which is held in place between two flanges with stud bolts. Finally, the two most used types of butterfly valves are the concentric and the high performance double offset. All right, everybody. Well, that's all we've got to, for you today here at uh, Hi Valco. Hello? Hey, first time caller, but a long time listener. Can I hear Freebird by Leonard Skinner? Wait, what? Isn't this KPBF where you bring us the hottest and best hits to listen to while we're buying valves and fitting? Uh, no, this is Industrial Valco University online class courses. And isn't Freebird like... 40 years old or something? First of all, Freebird's never too old. Can you play it or not? Uh, I can play it, but you're not going to hear it. This is a online course. Uh, just put me on hold then. Uh, okay. Hey, one last thing. Yeah. Where can I get these butter butterfly valves you're talking about? Wait, how did you know I was talking about butterfly valves? Uh, lucky guess. Freebird, 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 Freebird. All right, all right, all right. Here you go. Have some free bird, I guess. And I'm going to close things by reminding all of you that you can buy any of these butterfly valves or the other 25,000 line items that Industrial Valco has at right here, iValco.com. You can have access to all of it, 24-7 online ordering. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, I guess I do like free bird. Have a great day, everybody. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you do not miss a class. Also, be sure to go to iValco.com where you can get more information and resources for the items that you saw and also have the opportunity to purchase these items with our 24-7 online ordering. Also, be sure to visit our partners at the American Supply Association or ASA.net for additional training and courses that are tailored for all areas of the supply chain management.